Hey there, it's Power Coach Alicia here, and welcome to the Besties Style Boutique, your source of fun, funny, exciting, entertaining, and educational shopping. Here at the Besties Boutique, specifically on this YouTube channel, I want to talk to you all about all things Piffany. So whether you are thinking about joining Piffany, you've joined Piffany, or you just want to be a customer of mine, this is the place to be to just get that insider scoop, learn some things, and take your life and business to the next level. Today we're going to be talking about two different things. We're going to do a two-part series. This video is all about how to build your own quote-unquote club with the samples and releases. And then the next video is the style club. So I have club besties and the style club. That's what I've used for me and my branding and connecting them with me. And I really, really love that. I love how it feels. So that's something that I do. The other thing you're going to get on this YouTube channel is live styling with me, like a video of me styling any new release so that you can see the styles and how they fit and how amazing they are. And if you want to shop, you can go to bestiesboutiquestyle.com. If you want to join my team, you have that option as well. So um, in the description of this video would be the link to join my team. And there's also the link to join my group to shop with me as well. If you have any questions about anything I teach, you can drop them in the comments or shoot me a message on Facebook, m.me slash Alicia Willardson, m.me slash A-L-I-S-H-I-A-W-I-L-L-A-R-D-S-O-N. Okay? All right, so let's get started. Now, I've already done two videos. It was a two-part series. One, how I launched my Epiphany business, the mistakes I made, and how I recommend you launch your Epiphany business. And then I also did my sales plan, some processes that I put in place for my sales plan, why I did it, my heart behind my sales plan, and how I recommend you set up your sales plan. So I'm going to have to dip into that training just a little bit in order to kind of give you a timeline and how I launched Club Besties. And I think I launched it good enough, right? Potentially should have waited another week based on my last training, my how I launched my Epiphany business, but it went okay. However, because I went a little too fast, which is uh, like a story that keeps coming up, a challenge that keeps coming up. If you are a new Epiphany stylist or you decide to join my team, one of the things I want you to know is that you do not want to rush the process. Rushing the process only hurts you and your customers in the short term. Obviously you can fix it in the long term, but if you just trust me and just go through the process, you'll have way better results. So in a quick, quick review, I did a Sunday through Wednesday getting to know Epiphany series, which you can see right here on my channel, right? Then Thursday, Friday, I had a couple of like seven styles that I uploaded Thursday, seven styles that I uploaded Friday for my launch. But that week I was so burnt out because I was doing other things that I just left those styles up on the weekend. I just let them run. Then on Sunday, I did a photo shoot and started dripping the new styles that were coming out that we're going to launch on Monday. I do not recommend this. When you launch, you're going to have your Sunday through Thursday epiphany. Then you need to have like the next few days should be continuing to educate. Then that Monday you start your launch, you do that for two weeks and then you kick into the sample release. If you want to know all the details and the, you know, the more ins and outs of that, make sure you want watch how to launch your epiphany business part one. And then how I did my sales plan after that, which is part two. Just, just check that out right here. It's great information for you. So what I did though is I kicked into the sample release program that next Monday and it was a lot on me because, and I feel like the customers, they needed more education and information. But then I launched Club Besties that next weekend and so Club Besties was my exclusive club. Some people call it the Ambassador Club. People have different super cute names for it. Mine's called Club Besties because it goes with my branding. Uh, and it worked out well. I will say that. I think I sold thirteen or $1,500 in Club Besties open enrollment weekend, but I didn't have the right perks in place. I didn't have the right things in place to say, hey, this is what you want to do. Da, 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 da. This is what I need from you. Here's your benefits. It was just I feel like it was way too rushed and it's literally the common theme happening for new stylists who are just starting and it will happen to you too when you decide to join my team. So take it from me and just slow down the entire process. A week of getting to know Epiphany, two weeks of introducing them and 
doing the style. So you'll be selling for those two weeks, two weeks worth of launches. After that, go into your regular sales plan, which would include the sample releases. It would include launch night. It would include launching your club besties. And it would also include launching your style club. So like your first three weeks in business is all about education and getting them indoctrinated into the styles, right? Same for you too, you learning the basis of your business. Then week four would be getting into the swing of samples and launching and how that flow goes, right? Then in week five, maybe you do that again, samples again for yourself and, you know, doing that and getting your bearings down with that and then launching, right? Then in week six, maybe that's the week you launch your, your club besties, right? Or y your version of that, right? You're not going to call it club besties because that's my branding and like part of everything I'm doing, but your club-esque besties, you do that, let's say in week six, and then, and then maybe after that, you give yourself a couple of weeks to marry everything, right? Marry being active in the club besties, running the sample program with your club besties, as well as launch night and your regular sales program. Give yourself the seventh week to do that. Then maybe your eighth week in business is when you launch your style club because style club takes a chunk of time. And again, we're going to talk about that on the next video. So let's get into the details of club besties how I do it. So what happens is, is there's an open enrollment weekend once a month. I like to do it the last weekend of the month because uh, my girlfriend and my leader, that's how she did it. And her reasoning for that was brilliant to me. It gives you that bump in sales at the end of the month. But then there's another leader on the team. She does it halfway through the month. And the reason why she does it halfway through the month is because it gives her a bump in sales halfway through the month. And it knows where she needs to, where she knows where she needs to go the rest of the month. So I love both ideas. And right now I'm, I'm, it's at the end of the month, but I'm definitely considering moving it to the middle of the month because I like the idea to get me that boost in sales middle and then I can just like hustle and grind and have such a blast the last couple of weeks reaching my ultimate goal. So I just, I love that a lot more. So I would suggest you play with it. So how open enrollment works is I create an event on Facebook letting them know that Club Besties Weekend's coming. I also already have it set up to where people have opted in for Facebook messages, text messages, plus they're on my email list so I can send that out saying, hey, Club Besties is coming, make sure you RSVP for this event. Generally, I do it 48 hours before Club Besties is gonna open. It doesn't need to be anything crazy and I don't want it to compete with launch night and all of that going on. So I would create that event Tuesday night and then Club Besties would open on a Thursday and be open all weekend long. I open things on Thursdays. I run my weekend album sales starting Thursdays because I take the weekends off and I just want that time for myself, with myself, my family to do what I wanna do and not have to worry about anything else. I'm gonna grab a drink really quick while we keep chatting. Okay, so I would create the event on a Tuesday. Now, how do I open Club Besties? Now, in, in the push pin or like to bring it to the forefront, please note that I said I create the event and because I already have a curated list for Facebook Messenger, for the bots, and as well as a text message list and an email list, I email all that out and tell them to RSVP for the event. If you don't have all of that, one of the best things to do is find a bomb ass engagement post. Like, you know those things that look like crossword puzzles and they're like, um, you know, what are the first three words you see? That's a brilliant one, right? And then in the description of it, you say, what are the first three words you see? And then mine is in the first comment. Also, be sure to RSVP because Club Besties Weekend is coming up to the event here. And then you just, you put the event link there, right? Then in the first comment, you can share what are the first three things you saw. That keep, makes it automatically relevant. And then all of a sudden people just start coming, commenting and that post gets bumped to the top and you've got your link in there for your event. So that's what I would recommend you do if you don't have the other things. If you do have one, two or three of the other things, text, Facebook message, email, you still should be doing that major engagement post in your group to get them to RSVP for the event. So another ninja trick is when you set up the event, the very first post in the event should be a high engagement post. So there's a couple of, you know, 
different ways you could do that. First, it could just be another type of engagement post. Like, are you a hot chocolate or coffee drinker? That's a great one. Simple answer. Da, 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 da. In the description of that, you could say, be sure that you RSVP going to this event because Club Besties is opening up soon, right? So every single time they comment on that, they see that in the description of the post that you posted in the event, right? Did I say group? Sorry about that. Event, right? So you have that there. You're doing all the things simultaneously, right? You create the event, you do the post for the engagement inside the event, which could be like coffee, tea, little description, make sure you RSVP ab above, Club Besties is opening soon, right? Then you hop over to the group and it could be a couple of hours later, um, it could be the next day, it could be immediately, I'm more of an immediate, so I'll go over to the group within like 30, 45 minutes, do a post in there, and that is maybe let's say the crossword thing, and make sure you RSVP for the event, because you don't want to miss out on this, right? And then I might give a couple of things like benefits of why they want to be in Club Besties, right? Just like a couple things, not all the things. So then... On Thursday night, when all the albums are being uploaded or or will be uploaded, I'm going live and I'm basically having a Club Besties opening party. I'm hanging out with everybody. I've sent an email, a text, a Facebook message, join me, da 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 da, I'm so excited, da da da. Excuse me, and then I'm gonna go live and I'm gonna talk about all the things about Club Besties and the benefits. So, I didn't even drink this yet. So the first benefit of Club Besties is they're going to get sneak peeks of new styles being released, right? They're also going to have the chance at first dibs to buy the prints that they want in the sizes that they want, right? And that's all I did. And actually, I only told them originally that they're, they have a chance at first dibs of getting the print and the size they want. And that's how I ran Club Besties. And I forgot the part that is actually gonna benefit me from running this program. So for the first two weeks that I ran Club Besties, cause it happens every week, open enrollment is for one weekend, right? They have to buy one piece in that weekend in order to be in Club Besties, right? Then they're in Club Besties for the whole next 30 days. They have the opportunity to get that first dibs on the print and size that they want, plus sneak peeks because every Tuesday we get a video of what's coming on Wednesday as a sample. So like little sneak peeks, some cool things, right? So they're in Club Besties. It really did stop there for me. I didn't give any other benefits and I forgot to ask them for what I get in return. So they got first dibs and were purchasing prints in the sizes that were perfect for them and I wasn't getting shit from it because I just forgot it. Why did I forget it? Because I launched too fast, pulled in too many different directions, too much going on. I didn't give myself a chance to assimilate into the different processes and um, levels, right, that I'm building my business. It's literally like pouring the foundation for your house, putting on the first level walls, and then being like, holy shit, I want to do a basement. Like, if... If you just slow down, you would have had the basement poured, right? Structure good, then actually main level, then walls, and then you're building it up from there. So, like, it's literally just like that. So, two weeks I ran it this way. It was great because I was selling out my sample spots, which is... Um, a great benefit to me, making money, they're getting the products and it was like, oh, awesome that people are buying. So it was a great benefit to me because I was selling stuff, right? But the whole point of this program is to have them get their stuff, take a picture, post it in your main group with their review. I missed it because it went too fast. Did it kill my business? Is it over? Is it like the end of the world? No. But don't make stupid mistakes like me. Don't rush yourself forward. I just gave you a nutshell of an eight-week plan that if you follow it, your um, sanity and everybody who is paying attention, it'll just be so much better for everybody. And you'll be able to ramp up your business in the right way that it feels good to you and to them. Okay, so 
you opened Club Besties in order to get into Club Besties or whatever you're going to call your club. They just had to buy an item from that weekend sell and that puts them in for the next 30 days, right? So the club happens in a separate Facebook group. I have a secret Facebook group and I manually add each of the people. You do have to be friends with them in order to add them to the group. So the only people who can see the Club Besties group are the people who are in the group, right? So that group is just ran like this sideline thing. Now, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm doing my best to give you all the information to the best of my ability. So you've opened it. People have bought. Everybody who bought at least one item is in Club Besties for the next 30 days, right? The benefit to them is they have the opportunity to purchase the sample items, uh, the prints, and the size that they want, right? So that's a benefit to them. They have the opportunity to do that. Make sure you pay attention to my phrasing there. The other thing is, on Tuesdays, I'm always like snapshot snapshotting the video that we specifically get from corporate now I don't share that whole video but I snapshot some like sneaks and then post it in the group and they love that now here's how I ran club besties for the first two weeks because you already know I made a mistake I never asked them to snap a picture and post it in the main group so I wasn't getting the maximum benefit of social proof which is huge in today's day and time and world um, but how I was running it was uh, samples would come out on Wednesday. So we'd get a little sneak peek on Tuesday. I'm snapshotting, I'm posting. Then on Wednesday, I would now message. I would post all of the prints that are there, right, available at, into the group, Club Besties, but then I took it a step further because I'm not going to just leave my business success in the hands of chancing that they saw the notification that they were posted. So I message each and every person and there are usually four graphics that we get for each style that's released. So I would send them just a quick message. Hey girl, I wanted to let you know that the two new styles this week are the Juilliard cowl neck sweater and the Highline sweater. Below are the graphics for it so you can check it out. Please let me know which ones you want to see the prints of to shop for. Now I edited this a little bit because I found that people really weren't writing me back and they weren't paying attention to what I was saying. Like they would see it but then I wouldn't get a message back. Couple things. Um, I didn't like that just in general because I was worried that maybe they felt like I was being pushy and I'm really good at selling and I don't want to feel pushy. So that bothered me. Secondarily, if you're messaging people like that and they're not writing back, you could be flagged as spam. I'm really, really good with Facebook and spam and not being put in Facebook gel and all those things. So I, I'm not, I wasn't too concerned about that. I was more concerned with the fact that I felt like they weren't getting back to me. So I'm just going to look back here and see. Okay, so this is how, this is my exact message that I sent last time. And I got responses from everybody. Even if it was, no thanks, I'm going to pass on these styles. They're not me. That's what I wanted. I wanted a no or a yes, not a seen it maybe. I'm not a big fan of maybes. So um, my message says, it's that time again, lovey. The new styles are up and you get first dibs to either pass or shop. Please let me know that either you'd like to see the prints or that you're going or that you're passing so that I know. Would you like to see the Queens or the West End or both? Thank you for being the best part of what I do. Looking forward to hearing back from you. I'm really big on rhyming. I love rhyming. It's really great for the psyche, getting people to take action, selling and results. Then after that, I sent the pictures of the West End, just um, the main. Uh, so two, it was the West End with like the fit and the information. And then the main one where they could see the four models wearing it. And then the other one was the exact same way. And then they just write back. And she's, you know, of course I'll look or whatever. So then that way I know what they want to do. And I don't have to worry about them not seeing the message or seeing it and not responding to me and thinking, oh my God, maybe they're upset or I bothered them or whatever. So that is just the next step thing that I did. And so generally all of my sample spots are sold out on Wednesdays and I haven't been doing this very long. I signed up on October 8th. I started my getting to know Epiphany series on October 14th. I launched 14, 15, 16, 17. I launched on October 18th. 
2018 and we're at November 12th right now. So I'm almost a month in from launching and yeah, so that was the, that was my process for Club Besties. And then what would happen was all the people would get, start getting their samples and loving them and loving the fit. So I would follow back up with the people who bought the samples and say, hey, were there any other prints and or were there any other prints or sizes that you wanted to order and be first on my invoicing list for when they launch? So only the people that purchased the samples did I go back and say that. So then they would be first on my invoicing list. Then on launch day or like the day, yeah, on launch day, I would message all the other best, the other club besties people and say, hey, I just wanted to follow up with you and verify whether or not you wanted to get in on the launch. I will get you, you know, first dibs on the invoicing list so you're one of the top invoice just let me know and again i would get people seeing it and not responding so i edited that out a little bit just let me know if you're out so it, it created this cool thing because if they didn't respond the first time i would follow up the second time with that but now if they pass originally i never do it on launch night and it works out fine right so fast forward to last week i was like this is not working they are not posting pictures of them in it and giving their review. And I think it really did dawn on me that I wasn't pushing that. So being part of the community that we are here at Epiphany and we are such a team, you know, I'm Team Empire, but we're part of two other teams that are just freaking amazeballs, dude. Um, I put out a post and asked them how they ran their sample club and how they got people. And all of a sudden it was like, oh, I do this and I do that. And I adopted some things I like. So the two things that I told you stayed the same. They, you know, the opportunity to get first dibs on a print and size that they want. They get those sneak peeks in the group. However, I added, if they post anything that they buy, right? Anything that they buy for me, if they post it in the group and put their review, they're gonna get double loyalty points for that. Okay, so that was number one. Number two was that if they did not take a picture and give their review and post it in the group, that they would be removed from purchasing samples. I loved that. They weren't going to be kicked out of Club Besties so they could get the sneak peek and they would get the opportunity to get on the list and order before everyone else, but they would not be able to buy the samples. That really lit a fire under their ass. I did a video and I was just frank. I don't have time for bullshit. I don't have time to blow smoke. I don't have time to coddle. So I was just straight up with them how they were getting the main benefit and I was missing out on the main reason why I started Club Bessies because it's a new product and a new company and a lot of people aren't familiar that I needed them to start posting pictures of them and their review to help me with my social proof and help people understand that it looks great on all these different body types. This is how it fits and these are other people's opinion because social proof sells. They started it immediately and it was great. So um, adding the double loyalty points and letting them know that they would not ever be able to purchase samples from me again if they did not post the pictures and post the review lit a fire under their ass and it worked out great. Now, because of the social proof, this launch, the day that I'm recording this, uh, is going to be my best launch so far. Two things. The two styles being released are amaze balls, and if you just pay attention right here on the YouTube channel, sub subscribe and click the bell, you'll get to see the new styles that are coming up, and if there's something you want to shop for, you can go to bestiesboutiquestyle.com, and we can get your order, get you on the list to be invoiced, right? So, we can get your order taken care of. But I loved that the social proof really helped that. And then I also added that they're going to get a free something something in their package from us just to say thank you for being a part of Club Besties. So the sample people will get a little special gift in their package because you or I have to ship the samples to the people in the Club Besties. The samples come to you and then you ship them out. So other than that though, Piffany ships everything for you and it's free shipping. I do pass the free shipping on to my Club Bestie members for their samples because for me, that's just best that way. I 
feel like I want to keep it consistent and congruent, but you can do whatever you want with that. So then now what I also do is Club Besties gets the opportunity to get their pre-order in starting on Thursdays for that item that launches on Monday. So they basically have from Thursday to Sunday to get their order in before the whole group of the Bestie Style Boutique gets to see all the prints and gets to get their orders in. So if they didn't or did order a sample, they still get that first opportunity to get their order and that's when I send them the message that says, hey, I noticed you got your stuff. Did you want to order any other prints or sizes? Um, that's also when everybody else who may not have replied or did reply got the prints and didn't order. I say, hey girl, it's time for you to get your order in if it's something that you want to do sort of thing because it's opening up to everybody in the next couple of days and you'll be further down on the invoicing list. You know, it gives you a bigger chance to get the size and style you want by placing your order now sort of thing. So it's a little bit of legwork that I do, but it's definitely worth it. And then I've switched it because I used to do this all differently. But so Thursdays is now when it's open up to Club Besties. It's a lesson that I learned. And then on Sunday nights is when I open it up for everybody to be able to claim. And then on Mondays, I'm just dropping photos and chatting. And then I'll do my albums at 6 p.m. Eastern with it. And so so they can shop starting Sunday night. It's one graphic of me. It's like split screen sort of thing. Split graphic, one graphic of me. And on the other side, it says shop here, the price, see prints and comments. And then the comments has all the prints and they can just reply and buy that way. And I do that for each style. But then on Monday, I actually upload an album at 6 p.m. Eastern and then I'll bump those. And that's how that works. I used to start this whole process on Sunday nights. And it wasn't enough time. It wasn't enough time for ba Facebook to notify people that I posted it and for them to pay attention and see it with their life. So that's why I backed it all up. Club Besties gets to shop for the launch items all weekend long and have that opportunity to get their order in first. And then on Sunday, it opens up to everybody else. Then on Monday, I post the album up at 6 p.m. So like the process has shifted just a little bit and it works out great. And that kind of goes into how I run launch nights, which I will probably just like pull that out, do a whole separate video for that. But I wanted to give you guys the completeness of Club Besties and the process that I run for that because I think it's extremely important that you realize it does take a chunk of work, but you have to remember to set those expectations. So my Club Besties members now get first opportunity to purchase the samples and the size and print they want. They get sneak peeks usually on Tuesdays and they freaking love that. They're going to get lo <laughs> loyal double points. Woo! Double loyalty points um, by taking a picture, writing a review, and posting it in the main Bestie Style Boutique. Any style they buy from me, they do that. They get double loyalty points. And because they're Club Besties, I forgot this other thing, so let me say this. Because they're Club Besties, when they reach 20 loyalty points, they get to choose any item $50 and below. And when I launch the main loyalty program to the whole group, when they get 20 items, then they get to pick an item at $40 and below. But for right now, my loyalty is just, loyalty program is just limited to Club Besties because... I'm stretched thin and I, I just want to make sure that I'm in line with my soul in building this business and not sacrificing it to build it. So start slow. Don't rush it. You got to You got to learn from me. So they get the double loyalty points, the print, the sneak peek, and then a gift, you know, something small for me in the package and just to say thank you for being awesome sort of thing. So that's how I run Club Besties. That's how I do it. That's how I suggest it. If you have any questions, let me know. I really hope that this was helpful for you and that you got something or some things from this to really feel like you can launch your own club, right? Your own ambassador program with the sample program, okay? So even if you're a customer watching this, now you get the back end, right? You get how it all works and runs. And if you are a Piffany stylist or wanting to join Piffany, you can see that there's some really cool ways to build your business and just take things to the next level. 
And it's extremely important that you just do one thing at a time and that you give it enough time to take hold before you add that next thing specifically to your plate more than anything, as well as helping them understand so they, they can make a good decision for themselves on whether or not they want in on your club besties or whether or not they want in on your style club. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do it well enough, then they're not going to know. They're not going to be able to make that decision. So to open Club Besties and closing out, I go live, I hype it all up, I let them know the albums are going up as we speak to start shopping. All they gotta do to be in Club Besties is buy one item from this specific sale, this open enrollment period, and they're in like Flynn. And they love it. What also happens is people will buy samples and they will post in the group, and then they, you'll follow up with them and say, hey, are there other, any other prints or size that you want? And they'll be like, oh, no, I'm good. And then they'll come back on launch night, maybe the day after, and be like, hey, do you have this in an extra large? Mm-mm, it sold out. And so it really teaches them that when I go to them to get their order in before everybody else to say yes instead of waiting. So there's some really cool things that happen behind the scenes. I do hope that this was explained in a way that was systematic. I did go back and repeat myself in a couple of places just to kind of clear out any confusion that might be there and I can't wait to see you rock your club definitely share with me how it goes and again I'm here to help you live the life you love and build a profit-filled empire I'd love to have you on my team the link to join is in the comments if you're already on a team you have questions I'm here to answer them I am a direct sales coach I love it it's something I've done for almost seven years so I'm happy to answer your questions there as well all right you guys remember to subscribe and click the bell and if you haven't already go to bestiesboutiquestyle.com and join my community talk to you soon bye